What is going on people? It's Matt from Liquid Loans and in this one we're going to find out what is blockchain consensus and different consensus mechanisms. So with no further ado, let's go. When the topic of blockchains come up, many people have their own opinions on what they are and what they should be used for. But the fact of the matter is, blockchains are distributed databases and while you cannot change existing data, you can add new entries. As you're watching this video and enjoying my lovely, soft, soothing voice. Really? Well, kind of. There are tens of thousands of nodes out there across the globe recording transactions for their own database versions to avoid issues like double spending or payment fraud. And none of these possible issues could be avoided without a consensus mechanism. And because of this, trustless finance is possible. So in this one, we're going to get into consensus mechanisms and how they work so true decentralization can take place on the blockchain. How do you guarantee the general agreement of a network? How much should it cost to reach a consensus? And how long should it take? A consensus mechanism is a system designed to standardize block validation, save time, and prevent fraud. These set the rules to make decisions while also managing disagreements, and blockchains use different mechanisms based on their features and scalability. Cryptocurrency consensus means that 51% of the nodes or more agree on decisions. The next challenge then is full decentralization and to be as tamper-proof as possible. Blockchains aren't black and white and consensus mechanisms show the different ways users can agree on block validations. Networks can choose one or another, create a hybrid, or even invent their own. The most common consensus protocol types are proof of work, proof of stake, and delegated proof of stake. Proof of work is best known for its first mover advantage, i.e. Bitcoin, and for all that lovely mining. Basically, hundreds of thousands of devices competing in processing power to win block rewards, while the algorithm chooses whoever validates the transaction first. Proof of stake came later down the line and is much more energy efficient, where validators deposit tokens onto the network to increase their chance of winning blocks. Even though the algorithm is random, large validators can affect probability. And the newest and fastest kid on the block is delegated proof of stake, which is an upgraded proof of stake model and allows nodes to vote on other devices to validate. Validators with large stakes, 24 hour availability and good history will be voted on more often. Other less popular consensus models you may not know about include proof of history, Solana, proof of capacity, Burstcoin, proof of burn, Slimcoin, and proof of authority, VeChain. Proof of work, or POW, is a consensus algorithm that relies on computational power and therefore lots of GPU mining. Validators need powerful devices to solve mathematical puzzles via trial and error, and whoever finds the approximate answer first will win block rewards and update the blockchain. It's called proof of work because it takes more and more work to achieve this. Some POW coins, like BTC, have limited supplies, and as there are fewer coins left to mine, the puzzle becomes exponentially more complex. It takes, at best, millions of attempts per second to be the first to solve it. Once there are no coins left, the miners who run these devices would get rewards from network fees instead. The argument against proof of work is that it's wasteful, burning a lot of electricity to solve useless mathematical equations and is now seen as archaic tech in the blockchain space. There are hundreds of POW blockchains if we include all the fork coins deriving from Bitcoin, but the best known ones are Bitcoin itself obviously, Monero, Litecoin, Dogecoin and Ethereum Classic. Proof of stake is a consensus protocol involving chance, time, and collateral, i.e. stakes, to make decisions. To become a block validator, you need to lock up a minimum token amount on the blockchain, and validators need to responsibly verify blocks, otherwise their tokens are at risk and they can be penalized for doing a bad job. For doing their job well though, they'll be rewarded with extra tokens and validators distribute their rewards with users who delegated a portion of their own tokens to them to increase their TVL or total value locked, also known as delegated staking. Blockchain projects that use a delegated proof of stake system 
Pulsechain, Tron, and Cosmos, to name a few. Proof of stake is firstly a lot better for the environment as it gets rid of the need for miners and therefore wasteful electricity practices. And with the improved delegated proof of stake model, it allows users to delegate their tokens to a validator to help secure the network while also being rewarded, which results in a win-win for both sides. The ideal consensus model should be energy efficient, fast and generally in agreement. As the best method, this mechanism would attract more nodes and validators while still being scalable and able to maintain performance for hundreds of thousands of users. Ethereum and Bitcoin have been upgrading for a decade, give or take a few years here or there, and they're still not close to the perfect consensus model. Proof of stake and its variations seem to be the most effective so far, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Hence why Pulse Chain, the new layer one EVM compatible blockchain, is leading the charge with 99% less energy consumption compared to a proof of work chain, lightning fast transactions and minimal fees to boot. So to sum it up, blockchains are distributed databases with multiple nodes and validators recording transactions for their own database versions. A consensus mechanism is a system designed to standardize block validation, save time and prevent fraud. And blockchain consensus means that 51% or more of nodes agree on decisions. Proof of work blockchains were the first movers in the space, but are now outdated and wasteful burning unnecessary electricity and harming the environment. Proof of stake blockchains are the future with delegated proof of stake chains leading the charge with the ideal consensus model being energy efficient, fast and generally in agreement. Pulse Chain, the new layer one EVM compatible blockchain fixes many of the issues with proof of work and takes proof of stake to the next level being fast, secure, cheap and open for anyone to use anywhere. So I hope you enjoyed that video on consensus mechanisms. If you like content like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos on the channel. You can also tap the like button, share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. And if you're feeling very kind, consider dropping a cheeky comment below for the algo. It does help us out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.